just another Spider-Man movie. critical reviews of Spider-Verse were so strong that it debuted with a perfect, I wonder, you know, Phil, let me just start with you, what you make of that? I think we were, I think Peter and I were on the mixing stage together, and listening to the movie get played back, and, and feeling like, this is going to be somebody's favorite movie, and that one person is going to love us. <laughs> and the fact that, uh, that more than one person responded to the movie, have got the things out of it that we hoped that we were putting in, is you know, is a, is a really pleasant surprise. New so, and original to the movies, even though it was another Spider-Man movie. And Daniel tweeted, I almost didn't see into the Spider-Verse because of its lower frame style. Once I adjusted to the pace, I thought it was brilliant. It was like seeing a comic improvement professionals for a variety of home projects, from minor repairs to major remodels. Homeowners can read reviews of local pros and book appointments online at homeadvisor.com. It's 1140. Tomorrow's conversation is going to be pretty dark. Our child could truly see himself as the hero behind the... Careful with that. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't move that wood just so people can see it's bad there, you know? Yeah, yeah, that's scary. Be careful, man. Harder. Now, the argument in favor of it is simple. Uh, look at a place like New York where everybody, almost everybody, pays to get into Manhattan. Right. Uh, but people don't pay to go from uptown to downtown or things like that. London has so solved that. It's it's something cities are going to have to reconsider, even if historically they've decided against. Well, and I think there's one bridge that you can come into Manhattan. That's right. That's why I said almost <laughs> everyone. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, what about? Okay, forget about taxing people. What about yep. uh, public transit? I mean, this if if we're spending so much money and so much time every year sitting in traffic, yep. at what point does America say, okay, let's it's actually above freezing right now? Why is everything white? Uh, because it's foggy. Oh, uh, I mean, there's snow, but like, it was an ice storm this uh, overnight. It was like freezing rain, so everything was coated in a layer of ice. Like everything, like the entire car was covered in like three millimeters thick of ice. And uh, everything, like the trees are all covered. Like, notice how these trees, I don't know if you can see, they're kind of white, but there's no leaves on them there. Oh, uh, except for right there, there's some leaves. But, um, you know, they're just twigs, right? Because it's winter, but they're white because they're covered in solid ice, which makes them really heavy. And as it starts to melt, they get like ultra heavy and like the, the rigidity from from the ice kind of leaves. Um, that that kind of helps hold it up. And so you just have the heaviness left. And so it's breaking a lot of trees, which happens when there's ice like this. So anyway, it's shitty uh, weather. Yeah. A U.S. Customs and Border Protection agent referred him to a secondary inspection waiting room. They had me leave my stuff there. I couldn't take it with me, and a plain clothes agent took me into another interrogation room. No windows to question me for about 30 minutes. 
Abramson says the agent who was friendly began asking him questions about his work, assignments, and whether he could identify the leaders of the migrant caravan. Abramson says he told the agent that his job was to inform the public, not the U.S. government. Alexandra Ellerbach with the New York-based Committee to Protect Journalists says they have received complaints from as many as eight journalists who were referred to secondary inspections at U.S. border entries. Mm -hmm. Yes. File, not folder. I almost just got in an accident. Piece of shit just ran a red light. See you on YouTube, I guess. Holy fuck. Oh, I'm gonna open a window. Yeah, I just fucking slammed my brakes. I, I, I'm talking to you, light turned green, I'm pulling out onto, uh, what is this fucking road, Jackman? And uh, this guy just blows through the light. I slammed on my brakes just in time to not get fucking T-boned. How big is the zip file? Same size? Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz announcing on Twitter that he's seriously considering running in 2020 for president as a centrist independent. Here he is on CBS's 60 Minutes. We're living at a most fragile time. Not only the fact that this what? president is not qualified to be the president, but the fact that both parties are consistently not doing what's necessary on behalf of the American the government not to allow terrorist groups like bin Laden's or ISIS to face death. Aaron David Miller is Middle East Program Director at the Wilson Center and a past advisor to Secretaries of State in both Republican and Democratic administrations. Aaron, welcome back. Always a pleasure. Who you know. tasted defeat, who almost lost his life, who owned other humans, by the way, an important part of George Washington's history that we do talk about today, but is not part of his hageography. Hey, yeah, and we've put um, him in a very busy place these past seven days. The uber rich and powerful gathered again in Davos, but this year's meeting is standing out for those who are not there. A government crackdown in Zimbabwe has many concerned that that country is slipping backwards. And who is in charge of Venezuela? Really? President Nicolas Maduro is under pressure to resign. We'll have highs of 10 to 15 degrees. Right now, wind chill readings are still below zero in many areas. Tonight, West Michigan could get up to two more inches of snow. Otherwise, mostly cloudy in the region with a chance of snow across the region, lows of zero to five degrees. Tomorrow, lots of clouds with a few sunny spots. West Michigan may get some snow. To detect cognitive problems. We will notice a change, you know, within a few minutes of walking to the exam room. Sun says cognitive tests will become routine when researchers develop an effective treatment for Alzheimer's. John Hamilton, NPR News. In the new HBO documentary, Leaving Neverland, two men, James Sechuk and Wade Robson, discuss in graphic detail the alleged sexual abuse they say late pop star Michael Jackson inflicted upon them for years. Jackson has always denied the allegations, and the Jackson estate is suing HBO for airing the documentary. The film has left many viewers wrestling with Michael Jackson's legacy, as well as how he drew children and their families into his orbit. Here was director Dan Reed speaking with All Things Considered. You know, I think people completely lost their ability to think critically, and that goes for James and Wade's mothers. Downgraded, it would flood the junk bond market, making their values fall even lower and their yields even higher. In New York, I'm Justin Ho for Marketplace. <laughs> Alright. 
Let me get to some of your comments about who you might support or what you might support a candidate for. Gaytheist wrote on our website, the1a.org, I don't care which candidate is most likely to oust Trump or happens to be the most progressive. Whichever candidate runs has to convince me they're the right person for the country. U.S. Poet Laureate. Life moves fast, but good poetry offers a way for us to slow things down and examine the world in new ways. Every weekday, I'll share a poem and offer my perspective on the Smith was one of the biggest stadium bands in the world in the 1970s. Shout out to Max Ann Sartori, the DJ who championed Well, that, that Demon of the Die has been Turn cast, but he's going to try off. one more time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is brutal. It is. In 2014, okay, here we go. In 2014, Philadelphia's 22nd annual Buffalo Wing Eating Contest was won by 125-pound Molly Schuyler. She had a record shattering 363 wings. She last held in 2011. For Thursday, January 3rd, this is All Things Considered. I'm Mary Louise Kelly. And I'm Audie Cornish. Ahead this hour, a changing of the guard in California. Gavin Newsom will be sworn in tomorrow. next week as the state's next right governor. I think he's a true intellectual believer in the notion that you can fail fast as long as you're moving forward. Also, what did the rise of Puerto Rican rapper Bad Bunny say about changing U.S. demographics? Demographically, this country is not Did this different side of Manafort? <laughs> weekend um, but again they have to be willing to agree and I think this is something we all agree on right. we need border security and if we can agree on that we can this move our station hi this is Bill McLaughlin inviting you to come sample new wine in old bottles transcriptions orchestrations band streets it's a very distinct skill set and it's kind of a small world Chris Wall works for the Environmental Protection Agency in Honolulu he says he's sick of federal workers being used as a political bargaining tool. It just feels like a kick in the face every time, like real matter or something. Last week, the Office of Personnel Management... Anderson says there's a feeling of being abandoned in the federal workforce right now. To have to go and beg for mercy is kind of insulting. This is like an excellent idea! Yes, Well, buddy, 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 you can't what? be playing that. You what? can't play that. That's just Sesame Street. No, that's that's an F bomb in there. No, it's not. Yes. Get your mind out of the gutter. He that's... just said that sounds like an effing excellent idea. No, he says that sounds like an excellent idea. Your mind's in the gutter. It's not, yes, that's a blanking excellent idea. Listen again, Mark. Listen again. That sounds like an Okay, see, like now I hear, now I said that, that sounds like an excellent idea. Oh, uh, another one of those. It's, that's weird, though. It's, yeah, Monty it's, versus Laurel, it's a dress blue or gold, but.
What did Grover say? <laughs>